Now, let me ask you about this, Stephen. There was a story I saw in the papers recently uh, said that you used to get into a lot of trouble when you were a kid. And it said that you, I don't know, you and some friends used to steal Porsches. Never stole a Porsche in my life. Never stole a car <laughs> ever. And yeah. to say I nick Porsches is just ridiculous. Well, at least there's a certain level of quality there. Though. <laughs> <laughs> but where I was from, there was no Porsches in our yeah. house. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so have you have you spoken to them about that? You've tried. You, no, are they no. Gonna... It's, it's you know people obviously write whatever they want, as we all well know, and and occasionally we get a chance to say no, yeah. that's not true. They shouldn't wear that sort of thing. Back not here. really. No, not really. Yeah. Thank you for that. No, I don't think they should. No, no uh, they absolutely shouldn't. <laughs> You sure you never stole even one? <laughs> I've never nicked Maybe a Porsche. Maybe you forgot. Maybe you thought. No, it was... how would you forget <laughs> if you nicked a Porsche? <laughs> um, you, you can you can do uh, just about every accent. I've heard you do most accents. You're from Kirby, aren't you? Oh, yeah, originally? I'm from Kirby, Kirby which yeah. is just outside of Liverpool. I yeah, think, yeah, just on the outskirts. Uh, but do you find it easier to slip into all the other ones? Uh, I, I do actually, if I'm honest. I'm just I must just be very lucky. I've got a good ear for it. But what I try to do is either be in that area for a little bit, or I'll watch programmes from where, you know, where that area is set, I'll watch programmes where, where that's meant to be from. So, yeah, I've got a good ear for it, really. And um, American I'm accents are, no, you know, notoriously hard to get, He's and you've so done good. that a few Only times, because yeah. I watched him in Band of Brothers, like, years and years yeah. ago. Thanks. That was one of your first big roles, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. That was, there was a load of us in that back well, in the day. How did you get that accent? Um, that fellow was from Wisconsin or somewhere like that, so I just listened to it. You know, I had tapes of it and stuff, and, and you pick it up. Yeah. You know, that you, little get-in words, like, for Geordie, it's like, Kodak colour good. <laughs> Kodak. <laughs> Kodak. Kodak colour gold. Kodak colour gold, he just said. <laughs> Kodak colour... Kodak colour gold. I've never heard that. No. That doesn't sound, that doesn't sound that's That doesn't sound like that's Geordie more, at all. That more, sounds that's... a little bit more Jamaican. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kodak no, colour gold. That's just Geordie. Kodak colour gold. See, look, no. Kodak colour gold. Yeah. That's Jamaican. That's Jamaican. Well, that's Jamaican. Stephen Stephen well you just granddad. said it like that. You're Stephen, joking. No, Stephen's seriously. grandfather <laughs> was, is yeah, Jamaican, isn't he? Yeah, so, so when you slip in the Jamaican accent, presumably you grew up hearing that. No, I didn't, actually, because he unfortunately passed away before I died. But it's just, uh, I'm good with that particular accent. Yeah. Uh, you've played, I mean, amazing career so far, Stephen. You've worked with Martin Scorsese, is it three times now? Is it? Yeah. Three yeah, times with the great Martin Thank Scorsese. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Um, Thank you. Now, we know yeah. you're doing something right when that happens. <coughs> uh, you've got a new movie coming out. This is you. Is, is Robert De Niro in this film with you, as well as being uh, one of the producers? Yeah, yeah, Robert De Niro. This is the Irishman, yeah? Yes, and oh. Al Pacino. Working with Pacino, I mean, that, for an actor, I guess, he's about as good as it gets as well, isn't he? Of course, he? yeah. Yeah, um, and there was a little... I'd kind of had an idea in our, in our house when I was reading through, and so I started messing about. We shot it three times, and then on the third take, he's eating ice cream really slowly, and he's got this big scene, and he owes me two million quid. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I've known him for a while, and he's, he's not giving me my money. And we're oh, both we should people. explain, this is in the film, not in real life. Yeah, not in real life. <laughs> not in real life, The no. characters. Yeah. The characters, yeah. yeah. He, he's, he's Jimmy Hoffer, <laughs> and he owes me two million, two million dollars. So he's eating his ice cream and all that and everything. And on the third go, I thought, right, I'm going to do it now. And I'd already planned this, but I'd told the cameraman and I told the props fella, and he's eating it, and then he just puts his ice cream down, and he's looking at me, and I just went, and I threw the bowl right across the room, and he went, oh! And then we carried on a little bit, and then Marty went, cut, and he went, did you see that, Martin? The kid frightened me. <laughs> and then from then on, he called me the kid. Oh, and, amazing. And it was just wow. a really nice situation, do you know what I mean? So the kid is one of your nicknames. Uh, yeah. Dutchy, you're called Dutchy. How did you know that? Well, I've asked a few got some spies there, yeah, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> when you were arrested for Porsche theft, one oh. of their cops <laughs> phoned me. And he said... And the Ferrari had robbed as well, yeah. I can't even say for Ali, so, I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> get out of here. That's why I said it. But let me ask you about Leonardo DiCaprio, because you were great on screen with him in Gangs of New oh, York. Thank you very much. And, but you almost killed him, didn't you? I didn't almost kill him. No, at first, you know, I was kind of testing him out and he was testing me out and stuff, and then we became good mates. But we had a little... He used to drive around in a golf cart, but two days before we're due to start work, he's driving around in this golf cart, and I've asked him if I can have a go. That, now that does make me sound like I've robbed Porsches, doesn't it? Because yeah. <laughs> I'll have a go anyway when you're not. Because I'll have a go with your what car. What accent was that? that you take the piss that, out of mine? <laughs> That was Kirby. That was Kirby. That was an attempt at Kirby. <laughs> Nearly there. Yeah. So I've drove... I've drove... Now, I've, now you've made me very self-conscious. Yeah. I drove I'm this sorry, car. I'm sorry. That's OK. I've drove this, um, this golf cart. <laughs> so I'm driving this golf cart straight down the hill, 
<laughs> and we've come to a corner, and I've looked at DiCaprio, and I've said to him... <laughs> See? Amazing. We don't all we don't all have to talk yeah, and tell stories that's like amazing. that. amazing. So I've gone to Leo, gives a go with your golf cart, and I've bombed down this hill, and then I've turned the corner, and as I've turned the corner, I've hit a brick that was on, <laughs> and I've hit this brick, and the golf cart started to tip, but it's gone like in slow motion, yeah. and as it's gone, his legs underneath, Ooh. and it looks like it's gonna land on his foot, oh. and then he's just pulled it in, and it's hit the floor, and then we've got up and all that, and then he's gone, oh my god. He's, he said, we, he said, we nearly... You could have broke my leg. And I was going, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. He said, this is a $150 million film. We might not have been able to film it. And I was going, I'm so sorry. And he said, I fucking love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. And then he gave me the nickname Animal from that moment on. <laughs> Animal? Animal, yeah. Dutchie? Yeah. The kid? The kid, yeah. You're collecting them? I am, I suppose. Yeah, yeah.